um, when I, for example, if I get assaulted and I can integrate that experience into my history, into my life, if I can understand why it happened, take perspective, you know, it's less likely going to traumatize me. If I can't integrate it into my experience, it's much more likely going to result in trauma. And that's why childhood trauma is so important because if I'm, an, if I'm an adult walking down the street and somebody robs me and I think to my, and you know, I go through a very scary experience and of course it would be scary, of course I would be triggered, uh, but you know, weeks later, months later, maybe I get some help and I, or, or I think about it and I said to myself, you know, that person was really struggling, they had no money, et cetera, et cetera, right? Like I make meaning out of that story. That's me integrating it into my psyche, into my being, right? But imagine if you were walking around with your four-year-old child and you got robbed and assaulted and the child got assaulted too. That four-year-old doesn't even have the ability, at most of the time at least, to uh, articulate their experience, to express their experience, to take perspective about their experience. It's just a really, really scary experience. And most likely, they're not going to be able to integrate that experience into their life. And most likely, it will then lead to trauma.